Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we break down the latest news and trends from around the world. Big news coming out of China today that's going to impact millions of lives. This is a significant development that could reshape the future for many. For the first time since the 1950s, China is raising its retirement age. This is a monumental shift in policy. Why is this happening? Let's dive in and explore the reasons behind this major decision. China has one of the lowest retirement ages in the world, which has been a point of discussion for many years. Until now, women in blue-collar jobs retired at 50, while white-collar women retired at 55. This early retirement age has been a norm for decades. Men, they hung up their hats at 60. This has been the standard practice, but times are changing. But that's all about to change. The government has decided that it's time to adjust these ages to better reflect the current economic and demographic realities. Starting January 1, 2025, the retirement age will gradually increase. This phased approach aims to ease the transition for the workforce. Women in blue-collar jobs will now retire at 55, while those in white-collar roles will go until 58. This is a significant shift that will affect many lives. Men, they'll have to work until 63. This change is part of a broader strategy to address the challenges posed by an aging population and this shift will occur over the next 15 years. Why the change? Let's delve into the reasons behind this decision. China is facing an aging population and a shrinking pension budget. These are critical issues that need to be addressed to ensure the sustainability of the social security system. By 2040, almost a third of China's population will be over 60. This demographic shift poses significant challenges for the country. That's around 402 million people. This staggering number highlights the urgency of the situation. Combine that with a rising life expectancy of 78.2 years, and you've got a recipe for a demographic crisis. The government needs to act now to prevent future problems. The Chinese Academy of Social Sciences warned that the country's main state pension fund could run out of money by 2035. This is a dire warning that cannot be ignored. And that was before the economic hit from the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has exacerbated existing issues, making the need for reform even more pressing. To tackle this, starting in 2030, employees will have to contribute more to the social security system to receive pensions. This is part of a broader effort to ensure the system's sustainability. By 2039, they'd need 20 years of contributions to access their pensions. This change aims to create a more robust and reliable pension system, but not everyone is happy about these changes. There has been significant public outcry and concern. Social media in China has been buzzing with mixed reactions. People are voicing their opinions and concerns. Some are skeptical, fearing that retirement ages will keep getting pushed back. They worry about the long-term implications of these changes. Others see it as inevitable, pointing out that many European countries already have higher retirement ages. They believe China is simply catching up with global trends. So, what does this mean for China's future? The impact of these changes will be profound and far-reaching. A lot depends on how these changes are implemented and accepted by the public. The government's approach will be crucial in determining the success of this policy. But one thing's for sure, this is a big step in addressing a looming demographic crisis. The future of China's workforce and economy depends on these reforms. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. See you next time. Stay informed and stay safe.